The ABC International School, located in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, was established in 1995. ABC provides education for 2 to 18 year old students to study the national curriculum of England, including IGCSE and A level courses. There are over 75 highly qualified teaching faculty and over 780 students. You will need 1 6 diamino hexane, sebacol chloride, cyclohexane, distilled water, tweezer, glass rod, pipette, and beaker. First, make a solution of 2.2 grams of 1 6 diamino hexane and 50 cm cube of deionized water. Then make another solution of 1.5 grams of sebacol chloride and 50 cm cube of cyclohexane. Next, pour the aqueous diamine solution and then the cyclohexane solution of acid chloride on top. To minimize mixing of two solutions, pour the second solution down the glass rod. The solutions are immiscible. After a few minutes, a grayish film of nylon will form at the interface. Pick up a little of this using a pair of teaser and put it gently on the glass rod. As you roll your rod, the nylon will be pulled up continuously, forming a long thread. So, how does this work? This is a condensation polymerization. Polymers are giant molecules that are composed of many smaller repeating subunits called monomers. Here, the 1,6-diaminohexane and sebacol chloride are the monomers. They react with each other to form larger structural units and release hydrogen chloride as the byproduct. Nylon is one of the most well-known synthetic polymer. It is a tough material that is difficult to tear and exhibits excellent abrasion resistance. It was first used for bristles for toothbrush. It was then used to replace silk, parachutes, and vehicle tires. Today it is used to produce commercial carpeting. It comprises 20% of the world's manufactured fiber production. Nylon in its solid form is also used to make machine screws, gears, and machinery components that were previously cast in metal. This is our final product. It can be pulled into threads. Thank you for watching!